Hey, what's up, guys? And so my name is Austin, and I have been a digital nomad for over four and a half years now, and, and I'm here to teach you all the tips, all the tricks, and ways to not get scammed. And today I'm going to talk about how to live in Bora Bora for under $3,000 per month. What? That sounds crazy, Austin. How can I live in Bora Bora for under $3,000 a month? When all, all these travel influencers and people on vacation go to Bora Bora and spend $10,000 a night or a week. And so that is the wrong way to travel. And I'm here to give you the tips that I wish I would have known and to live in Bora Bora for under $3,000 a month. All right. So let's get into it, guys. All right. So you see here, right, how this beautiful place right here for $2,600 a month and you get kayaks bikes and all kinds of stuff included in this price that is insane condo on the beachfront view in bora bora for 1800 dollars a month right and, and, and it's got two beds if you had two people with you and you guys split that money in two uh so 900 a month for two people if you split it in half that is insane wow you got this beautiful view wow this is really nice so here wow this is nice and so this is their dog. You get kayaks and all, all that kind of stuff like that. And um, wow. And, and so this one's really nice too. This is $1,800 a month and you get two beds. But yeah, wow, this is, this is really nice. All right, so let's go to the next one. And so this one's $2,000 a month. This one is $1,600 a month. This is a really nice place. When I go to Bora Bora, this is where I, I uh, so stay here. For $1,600 a month, that is crazy. Just stay in a bungalow, right, for $1,200 a month. If, if you bring two people and you pay that in half, that's $600 a month, right? And so this one here, this is $2,300 a month. Uh, this is $2,000 a month for an apartment. Same one that we seen above as well. This is $1,800 a month. But that is so insane, guys. So the New York prices, this is crazy how... New York is two and a half more times expensive than than living in Bora Bora each month. That is crazy if you think about it. Four thousand seven hundred dollars, four thousand five hundred, four thousand, well, close to four thousand here. And the average rent in in, in New York is three thousand six hundred dollars, three thousand four hundred, four thousand, three thousand five hundred in Brooklyn. Uh, so Chelsea, basically four thousand dollars, right? We go on uh, uh so Numbio, uh, so dot com right here. Then here it says the av average price in New York is three thousand five hundred, three thousand four hundred ish. Tahiti, which is French Polynesia, but in Bora Bora, I'd say, you know, the average we seen was about fifteen hundred, but here it says nine hundred. But guys, this is insane. This it's like two and a half times more expensive in New York than it is in French Polynesia. How insane is that? For food in Bora Bora, if you've ever been to Thailand, at the locals are there, they're eat, eating out. And, and so if you go there and you eat where the locals eat, it's going to be very cheap for you guys. So I see per meal, is, it's going to be about $8 to $20 per meal. If, if you ate that twice a day, then I'd say that's about $300 to $800 a month in food costs. But, uh, but if we go over here and, and we see here that this is around $13 a meal, that's a numbio. And then we go to meals. All right, so per meal, right? This matches what we just seen. It's about 13 a meal. Some places you can eat for $8 a meal. Or if, if you go to a supermarket, then it's going to be like 3 to $5 a meal, which is a steal, guys. So they have these fruit places as well where you, you can go buy some fresh fruit, which is like the best fruit in the world. Because it's like in Bora Bora on the islands, it's tropical fruit. And uh, here, right? Like, so $10 a meal for like that's pretty insane yeah yeah we have these markets where it's going to be cheaper to eat as well right it's going to be a lot cheaper at these markets the local places so or if you want to just not even pay your meals just go fish in the ocean and go catch your meal and cook it and bring it back and cook it in your hotel i mean now the flights right the flights if you leave from la san francisco and brisbane australia the flights are around 400 to 500 dollars for one way ticket you get a visa for three months that you can live 
in French Polynesia for three months on, on a visa on arrival. That is crazy. And so like one way ticket, 400 bucks. And if we go here and see the av average, right? So here's 400, 400 to $1, 412, 452, 4, 493, 531. Like that's a steal. That's pretty crazy. Like that is amazing, right? So if you count that up, right? All right, so $400 for a ticket right there, right? And then $1,800 or, or $2,000, 2400 plus the food costs. So the first month, you probably spend about $3,000. And then the second month, you don't have a plane cost or a flight cost because you get three months for free in uh, Bora Bora. And so if you think about that, like, uh, so $1,800 or uh, so 2000 2200 plus your food cost, which costs about $300 to $800. So that brings you to, to $2,300 to $2,800. So plus some money if, if you want to go on, on a crazy adventure, activities in Bora Bora. I say like some things, just go in an adventure on your own, right? If you stay in this place up here, then you basically have kayaks and all that kind of stuff to explore the islands, right? Or just go walk around the island uh, so do like some tours, all that kind of stuff or, or activities, find things to do, find other, other like foreigners and, and just go on a journey around Bora Bora and French Polynesia. All right, guys. All right, so that's how you can live in Bora Bora for under $3,000 a month. That is insane. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and to comment down below, ask me some questions and, and let's talk in the comments, guys. Let's talk about Bora Bora in the comments. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Bye.